Okay, my Blender friends. So I've been um, making music visualizers in different styles for all kinds of crazy people, mostly DJs. And um, I'm just gonna show you the basic setup for creating um, these really cool and simple music visualizers. And when you know this uh, basic setup here, you can go play around with it so you can create these into all kinds of shapes and as you can see in this one this one is also reacting to the beat of the music so I'm going to show you how you can do that and uh, we're not gonna recreate exactly these visualizers but I'm going to give you all the skills that you need to create your own unique music visualizer and um, if you can like and subscribe I would really appreciate that so that will keep me inspired to uh, create more content just like this so let's get uh, into it okay so let's just go A and X and delete everything from our scene and now we can jump into top view by clicking 7 and now let's go shift A and bring in a plane we're gonna go into edit mode and now we can just select these to two top vertices here so just the box select them and go M and center and now we can go A and select everything and then just right click onto a mesh and go subdivide a couple of times like that so now let's go back into object mode and just scale up this triangle three times and uh, let's get going with these modifiers so go to this uh, tool icon here click add modifier and go to generate and here you want to start off with um, edge split and we're going to set this angle to nothing and now we can go add modifier again and go down to deform and we're going to bring in a smooth modifier so we are going to play around with all of these values later but for now let's just keep them like this so let's bring in a third modifier as well and this time we're going to use a displace so now what we can do is um, yeah let's just click new here and click this weird icon here as well and then we're going to change this from image to movie uh, to marble but you can also play around with all of these so all of these different ones will just give you a different result so when you get going with uh, your music visualizer journey you can just um, go crazy here but we're just going to go with this marble here and now we have this interesting look like that so the next step here is to make this um, object here rotate around and we're going to do that with bringing in an empty so just go empty here and go cube just going to scale this one a little bit up and now we can open up a timeline and I'm a fan of a little bit longer animations so we're going to set this to 500 and um, then we're just gonna keyframe this in a simple uh, 360 degrees rota rotation. So let's just go to the Y here and just click and select the keyframe here. And then we want to go to the last frame. So if you just hold down shift and use the arrow, you can jump to the last frame like that. But we also want to go one frame more because we want this to be in a perfect loop. So, uh, make sure that you set this to 501 so now we can set our second keyframe here so we're just going to make this go one way around so let's go 360 degrees press enter and then just set a new keyframe so now when we have these two keyframes selected we can just right click over our timeline go into the interpolation mode and set the speed to linear like that so now we have our empty rotating around like this and the next step is for this um, weird looking meshy thing to follow this rotation so let's just select it and then go into the modifiers here 
and we're gonna change the coordinate coordinates whatever you call it uh, from uh, local to object and then we can just use this eyedropper tool and select the empty like that so now we have this effect going on and let's also just bring in a camera here so I'm just gonna set the rotation here to nothing and just bring it straight up on the C axis like that and then we can just jump into camera view by clicking zero and we can also for a little better look I found that if you use this um, focal length just hold down shift just create this um, better visual so um, let's set this to 30 like that and now is a good time to also bring in a material so we're just going to use a simple emission here so just click on the object go down to material properties here and click new and we're going to change the base color to a light blue like that and now let's do that one more time we're going to go into this principal bsdf and then um, change this to emission so I usually just do these tutorials uh, one or two times so uh, sometimes you're gonna hear me having some uh, hiccups but that's just the way it is so I'm a human being not uh, artificial intelligence okay so let's just set this to a uh, light blue and from here we can go into the compositor and just check this box here for use nodes and uh, in newer versions of Blender to create this um, uh, glow effect, if you will, or this bloom effect, we need to use the compositor to do this in Eevee. So let's just go Shift A here, and then we can uh, bring in a glare node. And then we're just going to change this from streaks into bloom. And we also need to go back into the shader editor here and change this from object to world. And bring down the, the grayness here into black like that so now we just change the world uh, color and if you go into render mode now we don't see anything here so we need to check this drop down thing here and change this to always like that so now if you jump back into the compositor we can bring up the threshold and control the emission light like that so um, let's see the animation so if i hit spacebar here uh, we have something like this and this is obviously not too interesting yet so let's bring in a couple of more modifiers so what we can do here is bring in um actually you can experiment with a bunch of different modifiers here to create a different result but we can start off just using this um, wireframe here so um, we can bring in the thickness a little bit like that and we can also bring in our mirror 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 modifier so I'm from Norway so I can't see I can't say it right but it's mirror like that and there we go so now um, we can just play around with these um, uh, axes here and create all kinds of different cool looking results like that so um, already we have something that looks a little bit interesting and cool and um, the key here is to go and play a little bit around with um, the keyframes of this uh, these modifiers so if I open up this smooth here and we play around with this factor suddenly we have some really interesting and cool looking result and I'm also going to show you how you can keyframe this so if I want to use this factor on the smooth here we can just hover a mouse over the factor and then just go I and then I want it to change to something like that and then I can go I again sorry so I again and then I can go to the last keyframe 
um, but since we wanted this to go in a perfect loop we need the same um, the same um, locations here uh, or the same information so we need this keyframe to be at the 0 0.5 at the end frame so um, let's just set this to 0 0.5 like that and go and click this uh, keyframe icon and also right click and um, since we want this um, music visualizer to go in an even speed we can just jump into interpolation mode here and set this to linear like that so now we have something like this so already this starts to look uh, pretty cool and the reason that we want to use um, or I often use a black background is because that works way better if you're gonna create something for DJs or any kind of um, dark environment where people are singing or yeah you get the point so if you have too much light there people won't be able to see um, the emission or whatever you are creating on the screen so a good sort of like um, rule of thumb can be to have like in the beginning uh, like a strong emission light and a uh, completely black background but from here we can also do some trickety tricks so we can uh, select the empty for example and we can also scale the empty up to create a different animations and we can also rotate this uh, music visualizer around so I'm just gonna rotate it on the c-axis like that and now we have a completely different look and you can also animate the scale as well so if I just go K okay and scale so I have a new keyframe over this keyframe now and I just um, I scale it up like that and go K okay and then scale again and then we want to have the same scale at the end frame and um, yeah you can see that this is set to 3000 so now we want this to go in a perfect loop so let's just go 3 3 3 like that and then just right click interpolation mode and linear so uh, the trick here is just to play around so when you know the basic setup with these modifiers you can just go crazy and experiment and create all kinds of unique and cool effects but the last thing that I want to show you is how you can make this um, um, yeah triangle music visualizer thing react to some music as well like, so just make sure that the object is selected and now we can jump into the video sequencer and just go add and we can bring in a sound so now I'm just gonna pick a random tune here maybe something simple so I'm just gonna go for this piano beat and now we have some music but the visualizer is not reacting to it so let's open up this uh, displace modifier and just make sure that your blue line here is set to the first keyframe like that and if you just go and hover a mouse over the strength and go I we now have told blender that we're going to do something so and what we are going to do is uh, make this react to some music and we can do that by going into the graph editor so here we want to go to channels and now we can go to sound to samples so sound to samples and then I'm going to try to bring in the same song and go sound to samples again and if I play it now we can see that the visualizer is reacting to the beat of the music just like that so uh, I think that is all have a great day play around with this uh, madness here and enjoy life